demonstrate native threat intel features. Exabeam has a number of different default threat intelligence integrations, both from a real-time enrichment of data in the pipeline, as well as pre-built OEM relationships with other vendors to deliver threat intel capabilities into the SOAR product. So first, let's start talking about the threat reputation feed. So Exabeam actually works with a commercial third-party threat intel vendor, and we provide a default set of threat intelligence domains and IPs out of the box for our customers. So we can see here in the collector management, I can see the built-in threat intelligence domains. If I go ahead and open these up, I can start to see each of the different domains, uh, various different aspects of when they were updated, threat categories. If I go ahead and maybe we'll just scroll down, we can see other threat categories here outside of phishing, C2 type domains, botnets, even down to the particular type of uh, threat or malware served up. So this is one way that we integrate with threat intelligence. Now, because this threat intelligence is managed by our collector infrastructure, we enrich all data flowing through our pipeline with these threat intel domains and IPs. And then we make it fully searchable. So when I'm in the search interface, I can actually come in here and let's say I want to look at network data and we have a field called is IOC. If I do is IOC, I can say is IOC true. And this I can add to my query. And this will now search all of the network traffic that I have where as data was flowing through our pipeline, we've matched it against those threat intel lists. And I can see I have 2000 different results where I have malicious traffic or traffic communicating to uh, known malicious websites. Now I could also filter this down and say, I want to look at, you know, just uh, where the outcome is success. If it was already blocked, maybe I don't care. And again, continue to search and filter this. Now, if I wanted to, I could also start to save this search or convert it to a correlation rule so that correlation rule can fire and generate a, an alert or a case or use it to just add risk into one of those advanced analytics timelines. So this is one way that we're able to leverage threat intelligence out of the box. Customers can also upload their own threat intelligence. So if a new breach was just seen, they could upload their own list of IOCs and use it for historical searches against their data to find out if they were impacted or again, use it for that real time detection. Now, not only do we have threat intelligence and enrichment in the pipeline that's searchable and we can use for correlation, we also have OEM relationships in our SOAR product as part of our turnkey playbooks. Great example here is our malware turnkey playbook. We have a sandbox that's powered by FireEye. For customers that don't have their own malware sandbox, they can leverage our turnkey malware playbook where we can detonate malware samples against FireEye's uh, sandbox. Also things like get reputation. Here you're seeing this URL is being powered by recorded future. So again, a prepackaged uh, native threat intelligence feature where we're OEMing recorded futures uh, threat intel lookup uh, to drive this through the API for our playbooks. Understanding the importance of threat intelligence across the platform, trying to start as handling these problems at various different places within the pipeline. Early on enrichment to do basic detection and searching, as well as at the tail end to add additional uh, enrichment and enhancement onto new data that's found throughout the threat attack. Uh, so this is our ability to leverage native threat intel features across the platform.